This is a 45 watt AC adapter. It's a generic brand. And I'm using it to charge this 2013 MacBook Pro. I'm going to plug it in. When it's charging, it's amber color. So this video is just a short video about what happens if you're using a charger that's lower wattage. So my 2013 MacBook Pro should be using a 60 watt charger. But you saw in the beginning of this video, I'm actually using a 45 watt charger. So it's underpowered. So what can happen if you use an under uh, underpowered charger? There's a lot of things that can happen, but this is what happened while I was testing. The very first thing, which is um, I think is dangerous, is because it's underpowered, it has to draw, I, I'm assuming, a lot of power out, for, out of this adapter. This part itself, when this is running and charging, it gets super hot. So I've only been using this to just charge my uh, MacBook. And doing that, it stays warm. So once it's charged, uh, once it turns green over here, I'll unplug it and let it run. So if I just use it as a charger, not while it's on, it stays just warm. It might get hot too. But as soon as I turn this baby on, and I'm using something that requires a lot of power, so if it's having to power the MacBook and charge the MacBook, it can cause this thing to get super hot, like I think burning hot. So that's the first thing. Second thing is if you're running it with something that's uh, power intensive, what happened to me was uh, it stopped charging. So that can happen. Basically, there's not enough power to supply everything. And so over here, it started blinking green. So it started blinking green. And then over here, it just showed that it wasn't charging at all. So when it's trying to draw too much power, it might just stop working. And again, this was blinking green. Even my monitor was blinking. And this had stopped charging. So those are the two main things that can happen. So imagine if you you know, it's not even charging, it's gonna eventually just shut off while you're using it. So again, if you're gonna if you have a lower wattage adapter, I don't suggest using it. But if you really have to, again, if you really have to, you see right now it's getting pretty hot because it's having to power the laptop as well as charge it. If you really have to use a underpowered wattage adapter, i.e. a 45 watt adapter, if you have to use a 45 watt adapter on an actual 60 watt uh, MacBook, in an emergency, I'm not suggesting that, but you could. You plug it in while it's, what do you call it, not powered on at all. And that's probably somewhat safe to do. So I'm not suggesting this, but this is what I've been doing until I get the right wattage AC adapter. So mine needs a 60 watt adapter. People are probably wondering, can I get a, what's it called, 85 watt adapter? In the case of MacBook Pro, this 2012, I mean, 2013 MacBook, I can use a higher wattage AC adapter and that will not cause any problems. This is reported officially by Apple. I don't have the website on hand, but I'll put it in the description where it says you can do that. But 
just want to mention originally I just did this because earlier today I was using it and it was getting really hot and it's because I hadn't unhooked the charger and it was running while it, it was running the laptop while it was charging and so this thing was getting super hot that's it